Now with that, we go to Nigeria because businesses in Nigeria have suffered a serious setback following the UAE resumption of the COVID-19 travel ban. The UAE flight carrier Emirates reversed its earlier decision to leave the travel ban between Dubai and Nigeria following a disagreement between the two countries on the COVID-19 protocols. Details in this report. Ijoma Makpai has spent about 10 years running and growing her interior design business. She sources her goods from Dubai and sells them in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. But the travel ban on Nigeria has been affecting her business. She's lost over 30% profit she could have made on turnovers. That is really, really affecting the business. You know, you don't get what you want because you can't travel. You have a business money, you're keeping it, waiting for, um, for a ban to be lifted. UAE flag carrier airline Emirates shut down flights to Nigeria since February due to government's disagreements on COVID-19 protocols. The UAE had announced plans to lift the travel ban only to rescind its decision 48 hours later. Experts blame the latest action on the absence of global leadership for pandemic protocols. We have our own protocol in Nigeria, uh, which is different from what they expected from us. So normally, it's supposed to be either the International Civil Vision Organization, like GAO, that's supposed to come with a protocol for all the uh, members uh, you know, to adhere to. So that is missing. The city is W uh, uh, WHO. You know, they don't have a call for every country. And that is why countries like Britain just came out, who can travel, cannot travel. In 2018, 185,000 Nigerians visited Dubai. But by the first half of 2019, Dubai recorded a 28% increase in the number of Nigerian visitors, bringing the West African nation to Dubai's top 20 visitors list. The travel ban has created a huge gap in the aviation industry and the larger economy. On the economy, uh, well, we are practically importers. So we, we import from Dubai. And Dubai uh, lives on our own, uh, you know, what we spend in Dubai. Because anytime uh, Nigerians travel to Dubai, they have to spend money. I won't say Dubai cannot do without our money. Uh, they can. But we have a lot of investment in Dubai. Too, so uh, we are linked economically. So it must have been, there must have been some impact on, on the two economies. There's no official statement from the Nigerian government on the travel ban extension. But businesses like Mapais are looking to resume transaction so they can maximize profit. They're hoping that both governments resolve their differences soon and reinstate the flights.